What's going on traders? It's your one and only skill coach Tim Legion and I'm super excited to have you guys here today on this. So let me just place this trade. Alright, so I'll be placing this trade and let us see if this trade is really gonna go in profit or not. Okay. So let's just hope it goes well because I'm trading based on my confluences and using this indicator here right now. So in a few minutes I'll come back and then I'll teach you guys how to use this strategy, what I look out for and what I intend to do. All right, let's get started. Yo, welcome back traders. So I left the trade to go for a while so that we all can see together if the strategy is actually good or not. So I've tested the strategy in the past few days and it's been actually good. And I decided to use take it on a live trade to show you guys. And, and, and indeed, as we all can see, it's going as predicted all right now this is 71 dollar and still counting and with my anticipation i believe it's still going to go higher but i'm going to tell you every single detail you just need to pay close attention and learn what i'm about to teach you now you all know that normally i don't like uh, trading with the indicators any longer i strictly trade price action but the reason why i added indicator today is because a lot of traders also has always been on my dm telling me team can you just give us an indicator strategy it's a bit more easy for us this that 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 so i decided okay you know what my next video i will add an indicator so now you need to understand that indicator should just be an extra confluence for you to place your trades let it not be your number one priority or your number one reason to take your trade no all right it should just be an extra an additional confluence so what am i trying to say i'm trying to let you know that this trade i took right now was not based on indicator alone but also price action played a role too of which i want to teach you every single thing so that you can also do the same like i always tell traders your confluence is your confidence to take your trade the more confluence you have in a trade the more confident you are to place that trade all right so in case if this is your first time on my channel and you love watching videos like this why not hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and do me one favor smash that like button it makes me know that yes you love this video and in subsequent videos i should make things like this also you can also do that by even leaving a comment on the comment section and by telling me team i love this video give me more and i'll be so motivated to do more all right so what did i really do and how did i place this trade what did i see to really confidently place this trade and how come is it that is indeed going in profit now if you observe this is a one minute strategy all right i place this trade based on the one minute strategy but you've got to understand that i did not just trade blindly i have things i looked at on a higher time frame before i came over to the one minute now if you guys get to observe here right now in my indicator you observe that i placed that trade when my indicators were on the base level of the rsi don't worry i'm gonna give you the settings and everything just pay close attention okay now on the one minute time frame i placed that trade when the moving averages were on the base level of the uh rsi i call the base level but it's actually known as the oversold okay uh and then this is the high level of it is the overbought okay so this is the oversold and what that was why i placed the trade so when we say something is oversold it means that people have sold and sold and sold a lot that they don't have more to sell so what do you do next they buy i get i hope you get the logic there so that simply means when price is on oversold, you should look for buying opportunities. I'm saying this for the, for those who are beginners, all right, so that you can understand the language and the terminologies, okay? So when you see price on an oversold level, you want to place your buy. And when you see price in an overbought level, means people have bought and bought and bought. When you buy so many goods in into your warehouse what do you do to those goods you want to sell right good so when price is on overboard the next thing is you want to sell okay so that was one of the reasons why i placed a buying position now if we head to the 15 minute time frame you will get to observe something just watch out guys if in the 15 minute time frame look where i placed my trade right but you can see that the indicators were are not even on the oversold all right that is why it is a one minute time frame strategy and not a 15 minute or any higher time frame strategy because if you look at this indicator from a higher time frame 
you would have to keep waiting for a long time for it to finally get here. But if you're looking at it on, from a one minute time frame, it's always easy for price to get to the overbought and oversold level. Just like for instance, you can see all the way from oversold, it has gotten to overbought right now. And from the overbought, you can see price, what price is doing here. You can see this, the long movement all the way from here. It's been going straight down, all right? And there's tendency that this price might likely want to come down all the way to this level. And once it gets to this level, you see this level? If price gets to this level on the main charts, I tell you verily that this this guy here, this moving average is here, would be on this level, on this chart. Okay, so that's a logic you really want to understand. So how did I do this? First of all, first of all, the normal thing is you want to do your analysis. So if you guys get observed, you notice I have my uh, support and resistances in place already. All right, so. That was also so that was one of the strongest confidence i had to, to place that trade seeing that price was already on a support level okay it was already on a support level you could see that there was a support here before there was a support here before price went to the upside and when it came down it broke through that support level but if that support level was strong enough to turn to resistance what would have happened was that price would have gotten to this resistant level and fall back but since it didn't fall back, instead, price went back inside, even found support. Then that was what made me understand that this level is a strong support level and not yet able to be a strong resistant level. So that's why I confidently placed that buy here. All right. So if we had to 30 minute time frame, I think we should be able to see things a bit more clearly. At the 30 minute time frame, you can see how price have been sitting on that level. So that was why I placed that trade there. And then using the one minute time frames, I found out that price was also on that uh, base oversold level for me. So right now, I have two things running on my mind right now, okay? And which is, I might likely have to take my profit soon, all right? I just placed that trade because I needed to show you guys how effective the strategy is on a one minute time frame. But with what I'm observing as a price action trader and not just indicator trader is this. I can see that these guys are really having a range here and not just a range i'm seeing an, a head and shoulder all right i'm seeing a head and shoulder gradually forming of which tells me that this guys might the bears might likely push back down to this level okay and probably down you never can tell so that's what i am seeing in advance all right remember i told you guys as a trader you must be able to understand what's happening on the chart and predict what might likely happen next right i'm trying to schedule time in which i will take you guys on a live training and teach you guys how to analyze this market predict this market and what i'll call that trading is the prophetic trader all right so do you want to be a prophetic trader when we say prophetic i'm talking about you being able to prophesy <laughs> all right you've been able to prophesy what will happen next or what will happen soon or what will happen in the market do you know if you can be a prophetic trader you are 70 percent ready to kick this market hard because it's all about knowing what will happen next do you know if everybody know what will happen next in the market everyone will make money from forex i hope you know that yeah but because it's difficult to really predict what will happen in the ne next in the market that is why people lose money and then so many other factors right such as the fear the risk and all the rest okay but that's why i said but if you can predict the market well you are seven seven percent ready for the market so in that training i'll be teaching you guys how to become prophetic traders and i know a whole lot of you are really going to be interested in learning this because a whole lot of traders have been on my dm both on youtube on facebook and on my telegram such that i have not even had time to respond to some people's message and they keep asking tim when is the next training when is the next training so this is just an update the training is going to be coming soon probably my subsequent videos i will announce the date for you guys but get, just get yourself ready i want to teach you how to become prophetic traders okay so let me know if you have any question concerning this strategy probably i will have to talk more about it in my next video for the settings of this uh, of the indicators i have the relative strength index now the relative strength index your period should be 14 then apply to should be close okay 
then on the levels these are what i have on the levels i just have 10 12 14 15 then for the overboard i have the 19 86 88 that's just what i have on my levels okay and then you want to make this style whatever color you want i made mine blue i can decide to make it yellow whatever you just want you click it click done and then it's yellow there okay then for the moving average uh your first moving average the period should be 14 and your shift make sure your shift is three okay the shift is very important make it three and then your method make it linear weighted apply to typical price hlc slash three not two but three you can see we have two we have four make yours slash three okay then for the next moving average uh okay for that one i have the color to be red so you can put whatever color you desire on, on yours then for the next moving average my period is two remember the first moving average period is 14 now here my period is two shift the same thing as three method linear weighted okay just linear weighted and apply to make your apply to high all right and then put whatever color you desire and done all right done so let me know whatever question you you have concerning this strategy or whatever you want me to talk about next in my ne next video i would love to talk about it so just use your comments to keep me engaged sometimes i run out of uh what to teach what to teach you guys next but your questions make me know okay this is what you guys want to learn and then i use it to create a video for you guys if not I'm always reluctant about creating videos all right so tell me what you want to see next or what what you don't understand about with this video or any video you've seen me make before that you need proper explanation and i'll teach you more for the meantime traders make sure you stay safe and keep winning